Hi, I'm Chef Keith Snow. I'm gonna show you how to make one of my all-time favorites. It's a sesame seared tuna with a wasabi vinaigrette and some crunchy wonton skins on top. Let me get right into it. First things first, these are wonton skins you can buy at just about any supermarket. They're in the, usually they're frozen. And you can get them in small squares, rounds. They're all generally the same thing. So what you wanna do is take them, they've been thawed out. We're just gonna cut them in half stack them on top of each other, and then cut them into like maybe eighth inch strips. And these give a great texture to the salad. This wasabi tuna is gonna be served with some nice field greens that are dressed with the vinaigrette. So we take them and just set those aside. Now we'll turn our attention to our beautiful tuna and this is sushi grade tuna. I paid quite a bit of money for it. I'm gonna be eating it virtually rare. We're just gonna sear the outside, so you wanna make sure you buy good quality tuna. Don't, don't buy that cat food stuff. Pay some money for it. What we'll do is we've got black and white sesame seeds here, and those are not toasted, they're just raw. And this fish just came out of the refrigerator, and the reason I just took it out, oftentimes you'll hear me say, remove meat that you're gonna cook and leave it on the counter to come up to room temperature. The opposite applies here. I want this very cold so it stays rare because it is expensive and if I overcook it, I'll be kicking myself. So we'll take it like this and you want to just lay it down in these sesame seeds and you're going to get a nice coating like that. Some will fall off, not the end of the world. Try to get the edges all the way around. Again, it does not have to be perfect. But that is looking pretty good there. We'll go back on the original plate and we'll just set these aside. Now let's go over to the stove and start cooking these. So now to fry these wontons, very simple. We're gonna put it in some pure olive oil and if you notice in the pan I've got very little oil. You never wanna fill these like three quarters of the way up because if that oil comes over the top you're in big trouble. So we'll just take these the oil's at about 350 degrees. I know just because of practice, if you're not sure, you can get a candy thermometer or some type of a instant read to go in there. So once you drop them down, it's not gonna take much time at all. You wanna kinda do your best to keep them from sticking together, but we're gonna break them apart a little later with our hands, so it's no big deal. So I'm already gonna turn the heat off because there's enough residual heat in there. They smell really good, they're getting golden brown. Okay, these are already done. So we've got a little resting pad over here with just a paper towel to drain some of the extra oil. And these things taste really great when they're toasted like this or fried. It's gonna give a nice texture to our salad. Okay. Now we can turn our attention right over here to a preheated pan to cook our tuna. Now in this pan we're going to use nice light pure olive oil. We don't want to use again any heavy oils. So just put a little bit in that pan and you can see it's already shimmering around. So now we'll, we'll grab our beautiful piece of sushi grade tuna. We'll lay it in away from us. Make sure it's not going to stick. And you want to cook this on each side, and we're even going to try to do the outsides just until it starts to toast a little bit. It doesn't take very long. The seeds are popping all over me, but that's all right. I'm dedicated, man. They're not going to bother me. So we'll probably check it already. We're already getting a nice sear on there. Now I'm going to pick it up and try to cook some of the sides just by standing it up in the pan like that. Then I'll turn it up like this. Lay it back over. 
That's only going to take one more minute and we'll remove it from the heat. So now we need to make the salad portion of our dish. And the first thing we'll do is take this beautiful organic red pepper and we're going to try to find the flattest area of it because we want to make a nice julienne. So I think I'll cut it right like this. You can see that rib in there. We want to remove that so I'll just take my knife and be careful because this is tricky. And you never, I mean I've been doing this 25 years so I'm not worried but I wouldn't suggest you operate a knife towards your fingers but I'm doing it just to peel off some of this white. Again, very carefully. Because I want this thing to be as red as possible. There you can see it's much redder. So now I'm going to take some long, thin julienne strips like that. We'll probably do one more, one more side. And that one I did a better job so I don't need to remove anything. There we go. That is plenty of red pepper. So let's turn to our greens. These are beautiful, organic, fresh, mixed greens. We'll take a larger bowl like this and this will serve, that piece of tuna that we're going to use would easily serve three, but I'm going to probably make a plate up for two people. Don't need to stuff yourself, just have a nice portion. So we've got that in there like that. We'll take some of our beautiful wasabi vinaigrette. This is where we want to drizzle it and when I try to dress greens like this, I'll drizzle some of the vinaigrette around the sides of the bowl. And don't go nuts. You don't want too much of this on here. You don't want it to be all watery. Now we'll reach over and grab a pair of tongs and carefully, you don't want to bruise these greens, kind of turn them over. You can shake them a little bit. Just get them coated. And I can tell there's a perfect amount of vinaigrette on here. And these were washed and spun dry. It's very important that they be nice and dry. So that's good. What we'll do is grab our nice serving platter. We want to keep these in the middle of the plate. Just like that. Now we're going to take some of these nice julienne peppers for color. Put these around the plate. Actually won't need them all. And then we're going to take some of our fried wontons. You kind of want to put a little nest of these on there. Just like that. Try to get a little height on the plate. And now we can set this aside and pay attention to our tuna. Now this I've allowed to cool. I actually put it in the freezer so it's very cool and that's what we want. So we'll slide it onto our board and I'm going to switch to a very sharp slicing knife. And You want to be careful here because it's easy to rip it. You want to make sure that you're using a nice uh, sawing motion. Don't force it down. You can see that it's still mid-rare in the middle. And these are about quarter inch slices. They look perfect. One more. Okay, let me wash my hands real quick. Now let's assemble our salad. We'll put it right here. We'll take our nice pieces of tuna and we'll kind of lay them up against the stack in the middle. This is a gorgeous plate. Very easy to make. You just watch me make it. It's not very difficult. Very healthy, light, and people love it. Okay, now the final touch is a little more of our wasabi vinaigrette. I'll put this up on here so you can see it. Just take a little of this, go around the plate. 
on each side. And there you have something that I'm very excited to eat. It's a beautiful sesame seared tuna with a wasabi vinaigrette. Give this one a try. To see more tips, techniques, and videos, visit harvesteating.com. Four seasons, one lifestyle.